Okay, so if you're a drummer, you will understand this, but we spend a lot of money to get the good sound that we want. Um, just the drum kit itself, the skins on top, the hardware, the cymbals, it's a lot of money compared to like, you know, a guitarist or, uh, I don't know, a clarinet player. There's a lot that goes into, you know, a drum kit and something that's, this isn't, I wouldn't say professional, it's just, you know, it is high quality, but it's a lot of damn money. And, you know, then you've been confronted that, oh no, you've got no stall or throne, uh, and now it's like, do I just have to get, do I just get the cheapest one, or do I kind of go with the equivalent to what your drum kit's worth? Um, and that's what I'm going to be breaking down today. I'm Toby Jones Drums, and welcome to my channel. Okay, so we're breaking this down step by step today. Um, it's not really an important lesson you need to be listening because we're talking about drum thrones, guys. It's not that important. Um, but I recently got one when I turned 18, um, and it is obviously it's amazing. You know, I'm sitting on it at the moment, and it's hydraulic. It can spin. It's damn comfy. It looks amazing. But it's obviously expensive. Yeah. And it's kind of like, is it worth all that money, or should I just be using the same one that I've had? Um, let me uh, grab it. <laughs> uh, this is the throne that I've had. Oh, it's not even a throne, it's a store in it. I've had this for about seven years, and I got it for free from like a closing down kind of garage. It's kind of like, take what you want, um, the rest is getting thrown away. Um, and I was using an office chair before this. So this was obviously an upgrade, but it's flimsy, it's making more noise than we'd like, um, and it's rusty and damn filthy. There's enough of that. But should I be putting up with that, or should I just get an upgrade? And should we all be getting an upgrade? Um, and this is what I've got for you today. So obviously this store I got for free, but you can probably get your hands on one of these for about 20 quid. Um, one of the biggest letdowns for the stall that I had for a few years um, was the limited choices for height. Uh, you get three options, which you just put a bolt pretty much through, um, and you get very short, a little bit short, or short. That's the options for this drum front. It doesn't go high at all. Um, whereas when I'm sat on, I can go um, about almost a foot lower than the one in front of me, um, but I can also go too high where I can literally just get my toes in the floor. Um, so I'm having it, you know, pretty much just in the middle, I think. Uh, I'm loving it. Um, but with its limited height options, you can't get the most balance and the most comfort out of your throne. You're not, you know, obviously the more comfortable you are, the better your playing will be because, you know, all your balance and your core and your back is all really important to playing drums and having a really good technique. So not having all those options um, in terms of, um, adjusting your height was a big letdown for me. Um, another thing, I'm going to grab this throne again, but these legs, you could probably, if you dropped it, it would probably bend, it's that flimsy. Um, I'm not, I don't really want to touch it because it's filthy, um, but it's so thin and like, you know, tacky that, you know, obviously it's light and it's really good for just, you know, going out for a gig and just throwing it in your, you know, your hardware bag, but it's not sturdy enough. and. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, if you were a little bit heavier than me, <laughs> it probably wouldn't last that long, to be honest. Um, another thing, obviously, is, you know, after a while, you know, you're, it's just... Mission failed! We'll get them next time! It just doesn't work anymore, you know what I mean? It's all just coming a bit loose. Um, and it's just a bit, just a bit, you know, unhygienic, to be honest. But, you know, with all that, you know, flimsy, mechanical kind of stuff, it's just making it, you know, it's almost a health hazard at this point, you know what I mean? Um, whereas this one, you know, it could probably support three times my weight, and I'm not going to have any troubles with it anytime soon. <laughs> okay, so with this rock and sock stool that I'm sitting on at the moment, which is extremely comfy, and I can sit and talk for hours, um, obviously it's hydraulic, like, like an office chair, I suppose. Um, I've got a spinny chair, so I can, like, you know... 
It's amazing. Um, it's proper sturdy. Um, it's definitely not going to break or bend or anything like that at all. Um, the only problem with this is if you want to take this gigging, it's going to add quite a substantial amount of weight to your bag. But I'm going to guess it's about five times heavier, which is kind of mad for something that's the same size. Um, so has this throne actually benefited me or is it just something that I'm enjoying sitting on? Um, for the price, um, it's a bit over the top. Um, I, I, luckily I didn't have to pay for it, um, it was a birthday gift, but this is definitely something that I would try and get as a gift. Um, don't spend um, a lot of your money on this, you know, replace your skins instead because it's definitely worth the skins, not on a new throne. Um, and yes, I'm going to say it is a throne because drummers sit on it and at the back. So basically, it just says all ready, doesn't it? Um, and I'm def I am going to definitely say that it has improved my playing ability. Um, as I was saying before, just my, you know, my balance, um, I'm not straining or anything, it's not you know, wobbling, it's proper sturdy, and it definitely is helping me um, you know, with my, my technique, definitely. So the big question now is, do you spend all your money uh, on this drop room? <laughs> um, and I'm going to say, if you can, like I did, try and get this gifted to you, because you could spend the same amount of money on your skin and your entire kit. Um, and I'm going to say, um, should you need one, only if, like me, you've had the same one for about seven years, um, five or seven years, whatever, um, and you kind of feel that it's going to improve your drumming. I wouldn't say, if you've just got your first kit, don't, if, you're, if your kit's worth 150 quid, don't spend 130 on one of these drums. Um, you know, if your kit's worth a couple of grand, um, then maybe you should consider something like this. Um, but anything less than that, maybe not. Um, and those ones at the back rest, um, I'll obviously, I've, I've, I've tried one before, but I'm obviously not using one. Um, I just don't think they're needed. Um, I don't I don't know how much more expensive they are, if not at all. But I don't know, I think they just kind of, you know, imagine you just sitting there, leaning back, um, and just playing, it just doesn't look right, does it? I mean, something that I would do, but I don't know, if you want to, then do try it out and get it, but I wouldn't recommend it, I would think. If it's broken, then don't buy another cheap one. I definitely get one with a bit more money. I think you'd be better off with one. But... All right, so I know this one's a bit short, but it was just a bit of a different topic that I wanted to try. Um, I'm kind of saving drum lessons now, um, or I'm kind of separating them out more, um, just so you know I don't run out of drum lessons, <laughs> drum ideas by the end of this year. I don't really want that. So I'm going to kind of spread them out and maybe do a drum lesson every couple of months or something. But yeah, I'm going to be doing these kind of shorter lessons on different topics um, just to keep you all a bit interested um, and a lot easier to make so the consistency will be a lot higher as well. Um, if you enjoyed doing this comparison type of video, then do leave a like because um, I might be doing a lot more of these and I've got um, quite a lot of good gear compared to a lot of bad gear as well. Okay, that's all from me today. Um, if you want to see exactly the gear that I am using, um, do check out my website um, and if you want to see more from me uh, and about me, then do follow me on my social medias. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.